The product showcase template is a robust preset that features a simple product customization interaction. In this tutorial, we'll touch base the basic behavior system, especially changing an item's color. In the end, we'll be creating a color configurator. Now let's open up the template. The template itself has a minimalistic setting. The only thing we should concern about are the items in the front. To understand it better, let's play it first. So in the center, you can see we have a placeholder that's rotating. And the items at the left are actually the color configurator. If we click each individual of them, you can see the model color is changed. What we want to do is to have our own product changing color instead of the placeholder. To do so, let's click on the item and then navigate to the first icon, the swap object feature in the context menu, and then upload our own model. I'm going to upload my own chair to replace the chair that's in the scene. The model comes with a blue purplish color, but we probably want to start it with a white color. So let's change the hex code in the color. It also got a few children underneath. What we can do is to change the material of the leg of the chair to something else. Let's select the wood color that's provided by Brio, so the chair is not just plain white. And the actual chair body looks a bit too shiny. We can go to the material menu, click again to go to the advanced material option to modify each individual text channels. So let's have less metalness and more roughness for the chair. The chair looks so far so good. Let's hit play again. And it worked as we expected. Well, what if we want to customize our own colors? Let's see, we don't want this purple. Instead, we want it to be green. After we click the item, you can see we are first selecting the group. We have to click on the icon again to select the child within the group. With the purple circle selected, let's go to behavior. And you can see the whole behavior chain that's associated with this circle. In this case, we can tell that the light purple is the icon. And after it's clicked, the chair will change color to purple. So as simple as that, to make the chair turning green, we just need to drag the node in the color wheel or enter a hex code above. It's also got a 20 second timer on it to retain the color purple for 20 seconds. We also want to change this purple to green. So let's copy the hex code from the first behavior and paste it into here. Now let's also change the color of the icon from purple to green. And then let's play it to see if it actually works. To add more color options is also easy. You just simply copy one of the color configurator and all the behaviors should also be duplicated. And this time we want to change the orange color to black. We will need to change the icon configurator as well as the two color behaviors. Now if we play it again, you can see the chair is changed to black. One final thing this template is providing you is a button with a hyperlink. This way you can link your purchasing page. When viewers are viewing it, they can click on it. It's also inside the behavior panel. This icon here is for you to enter your own URL. By default, it's linked to Brio's website. Let's see, I want people to go to this IKEA page. So I will copy the URL and paste it in the tab here. Now let's play the scene again in the player view. Hit by now. You can see that it's linked you to the IKEA page. And all the color configurators here are working as well.